The mom was pregnant for two years, but gave birth to a baby with two faces. However, the couple decided to raise the child. The older sister is named Kara. The younger sister is named Mia. They often look at each other in the mirror to avoid being discovered by others. The two have never been to school. One day, a bald girl accidentally discovered their secret. The older sister pulled back her hair to scare the other girl away. The little sister laughed happily. When the girl told others about finding a monster, they said she was the monster. The girl immediately put on a headscarf. Just when others were bullying her, the older sister ran over, chased them away with a stick. The girl was no longer afraid of the sisters. They eventually became friends. After a dozen years, the sisters grew up, but still had to share one body. Because of her unusual appearance, when they went out, they had to cover their heads with scarves. The older sister is named Kara. The younger sister is named Mia. One day, Kara and Mia met a boy. Both sisters liked him. However, Mia couldn't reveal her true self, could only greet him on the phone. When Kara and the boy went on a date, Mia had to hide in her sister's hair. Just as Kara was about to tell the boy the truth, their mother suddenly appeared and stopped them. Mia could only shed tears of frustration. One day, Kara's rival accidentally discovered their secret. She found Kara, pulled her hair out, but found there was nothing behind Kara's head. Do you know why? The girl's mouth spewed countless bugs. The girl checked into a lodging, run by an elderly couple who were friendly. In the middle of the night, there was this urgent knocking on her door, startling her awake, but she couldn't move her body. Suddenly a weird woman appeared by her bed. All the girl could do was watch the woman vanish into the darkness. Then the old woman came and took off the girl's headphones while her husband measured her with a ruler. The girl felt nauseous and spewed a bunch of bugs. When she woke up again, everything seemed normal. She thought last night was just a nightmare. Come evening, she heard some eerie noises from the next room. Curious, she leaned against the wall and discovered a hidden compartment. She opened it and found an four bag. Then there was an even bigger compartment, pitch black inside. She switched on her flashlight. Her scream attracted attention. So, she hid behind the door and, seizing the opportunity, knocked the old woman unconscious. The girl hurried to escape, but every door and window were locked. Soon, she found a dark room in the wall, but as soon as she entered, she screamed in terror. Hastily fleeing the room, she encountered the innkeepers, who promptly injected her with anesthesia. When the girl woke up again, she found herself tied to a chair. It turns out she wasn't the first prey. There were victims below the floor and within the walls. They sewed up the girl's eyes and ears, forever confining her underground. This alien creature not only served as a fever patch, but also makes the girl who had been suffering from a high fever for 10 years, recovered instantly. Her father thought he had found a treasure, couldn't let go of it. However, this little bug actually has a very scary side. One day, while Bella was peeing in the wilderness, the warm steam attracted the creature. It jumped right over. Curious, Bella ran over, only to have the creature jump into its mouth. Upon returning home, the creature targeted the neighbor next door. Just as the man blew smoke rings at it, the creature jumped into the man's mouth. When people found Bella again, it had been drained of all its heat. This towel loves to burrow into mouths. Not only does it like human mouths, but it also likes dog mouths. In order to get into the man's mouth, it takes a leap, pounces towards the glasses-wearing guy. The glasses guy immediately does a backflip. After 1,000 backflips, successfully dodges the attack. The creature, however, crashes into a tree due to excessive force, but it doesn't give up, jumps directly into the glasses guy's pants. Frantically moving around, the glasses guy falls to the ground. Other villagers quickly rush to help to the man's mouth. It takes but the creature crawls into the man's buttocks. The villagers have to take out iron rods, play a round of golf. Just as the man is about to be saved, the creature jumps into the glasses guy's mouth again. This time, it's short-haired girl's turn to play golf. Can you guess where she'll hit? Glee into the glasses guy's pants. Frantically moving around, the glasses guy falls to the ground. Other villagers quickly rush to help. But the creature crawls into the man's buttocks. The villagers have to take out iron rods, play a round of golf. Just as the man is about to be saved, the creature jumps into the glasses guy's mouth again. This time, it's short-haired girl's turn to play golf. Can you guess where she'll hit? If you had to trade a finger for an ice cream, would you still eat it? A girl is waiting by the road for something. Suddenly, an ice cream truck comes. The girl quickly runs home, looks at her mom with innocent eyes, and tugs her clothes. Her mom looks at her lovingly, then uses a knife to cut the ribbon from the girl's hair. The girl ties the ribbon to her mom's pinky finger. Her mom's ring finger is now missing. Without waiting, her mom cuts it off. 
Excitedly, the girl grabs the finger and runs outside. She gives it to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper smiles, puts the finger in a jar, and gives the girl an ice cream. She happily enjoys the ice cream. Soon, a long line forms in front of the ice cream truck. These two people's cheeks are slowly blending together. Just a moment ago, the man's arm suddenly broke, the severed limb grew numerous legs, the curly-haired guy got trapped by the monster, and got eaten in the end. The man on the ground kept twitching, a 10,000 meter long arm came out of his belly, crazily attacking everyone around. The young boy got scared and tried to run, but the monster hit him. The blackie saw this and immediately shot at the monster, but got killed by it. The monster changed again, this time into a spider, heading towards the young boy. It merged with him, turning into a two-headed monster. The woman quickly grabbed a flamethrower, driving the monster away. The monster fled outside. The woman pursued, and completely burned it to death. The hot girl's hair was too long, and was bitten by a cannibal fish under the water. Finally, she was dragged into the water, becoming a snack for the cannibal fish. Two children quickly climbed onto the opposite boat, but the rope suddenly broke. A woman fell into the water. The man acted quickly, and pulled her up with one foot on the accelerator. On the other side, a girl was trapped in the cabin. Her boyfriend tied a rope around himself to rescue her. He threw a body into the water to divert the fish's attention. Then he dove in, and found the girl. Just as the fish were closing in on them, the boat went boom. The two were smoothly pulled out. All the cannibal fish were blown to death. As everyone cheered for making it out alive, the professor called, dropping the bomb that those fish were just babies. Babies? So, where are the parents? <laughs> The girl discovered her tongue adhered to the utility pole, an inexplicable bond refusing to break. A forceful tug only elongated it, growing desperate. She retrieved a fruit knife, hoping to sever the bizarre connection. However, the resilient tongue resisted, frustration mounting. She had a large axe on the ground. A peculiar thought crossed her mind, a mere sacrifice compared to her very existence. Summoning courage, she raised the axe, poised for a fateful strike. Just before the blade descended, a shadow emerged, yanking her forcefully to the ground. Startled, she covered her mouth, only to realize her tongue was no longer hers. A quick glance revealed it still clung to the utility pole. To ensure the girl doesn't fall, the man plays the piano desperately. Just a moment ago, he was playing a mysterious piece of music. When he plays the piano, time stands still. If he plays it wrong, he will lose both hands. Suddenly, the man turns his head, discovering the girl hanging upside down outside the window, astonished. He asks her why she wants to commit suicide. The girl explains she has had enough of her mother's control. The man sympathizes deeply with her, wanting to save the girl by repeatedly playing and freezing time. Suddenly, he recalls the story of Beethoven playing the piano upside down, deciding to flip the sheet music. Unexpectedly, time reverses. The girl is successfully saved as a result. Oh,